In this clip, we begin our study of vectors. And to do this, we will look at adding together displacements. We've already looked at adding displacements that are on a line, a number line. Now we will look at adding displacements in two dimensions. Once you learn how to do this, it is exactly the same for adding uh, velocities or forces or momentums, anything that's a vector. Learn this with displacements and it's exactly the same principle. This is foundational, it's basic, and I suggest you have your calculator, your pen, your paper, and you hit pause all the way through. Understand every step. Replay anything that you need to uh, replay. And uh, this fact, and this particular segment, we will look at adding uh, things at right angles. And in the next one, we'll look at things that are not right angles. Suppose I want to fly due east. And in fact, I fly 12 kilometers due east. The plane turns abruptly and heads north for 25 kilometers due north. I can represent these motions by two lines with arrows. One east, one north, 12 kilometers east, 25 kilometers north. Now, if I ask the question, what distance does it travel? That's easy. How much ground did it cover? You add it up. 12 plus 25, 37. This is a scalar quantity, a number and a unit, magnitude only. But if I ask the question, what is the displacement? Now I need to know where I started and where I ended. I need to know the shortest distance by that line from my starting point and my ending point, how my position changed. And we call that the resultant. I need to find that. And this is a right angle triangle. I use Pythagoras theorem to find R, the resultant. So Pythagoras theorem, we know this. We know c squared is a squared plus b squared. And in this context, it's r squared is 12 squared plus 25 squared. So we work this out. r then is equal to the square root of 12 squared plus 25 squared. And when I put it through my calculator, I find that it is 28 kilometers. Now this 28 kilometers is the magnitude. I have to ask in which direction? Where do I aim that 28 kilometers? Which way do I go? And so I need an angle. And to find the angle, I will use the tangent. And you remember Soka Toa. Tangent is the Toa, the opposite over the adjacent. So, let's go back to our triangle. I need to find theta. I write down tan theta equals, and it is the opposite over the adjacent, 25 over 12. So I put those numbers into my calculator, 25 divided by 12, and hit the inverse of the tan, and I find that theta equals 64 degrees. But 64 degrees in which direction? And I have to say north of east. I'm going north of east, and I write that down. And so my displacement is given as the following. 28 kilometers at 64 degrees north of east. Notice I have a magnitude and an angle, a direction. This is the vector quantity.